Hello out there, welcome to English Teacher Plays, this is Mr. Jacobs, and we're going to have a look at Bioshock Infinite. Now this is a game that I have beaten before, uh, but someone requested that I play it for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new game, and uh, we'll, we'll play as far as, oh, I don't know, as far as I feel like. Right, let's go new game. Oh yeah, let's overwrite my most recent autosave. Medium, uh, hard, 1999 mode is for the best of the best. Uh, let's just go medium. Uh, yeah, we'll go hard. We'll go hard. So this is the, uh, sequel to Bioshock. Uh, and there is a Bioshock 2, but it's, uh, it's not amazingly good. Bioshock 1 was awesome. And this game is also quite awesome. Uh, it takes place in a, you know, fictional sky universe. Um, but we're going to get a bunch I'm of exposition. Of you. The mind of the subject will desperately struggle to create memories where none exist. Barriers to transdimensional travel. 1912, Coast of Maine. That's a state in the United States, in Are case you, you don't know. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? I haven't planned on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No, but I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do, no, but we're never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. Yeah, see, so uh, the game is very weird, very meta. The things they're We've saying arrived. sort of imply the player character as well, not just... I mean, imply you, the player, not just the thing. So we can get out. He's not moving. He will, eventually. Yes, <laughs> he does. We'll, we'll hang out for a second, see if they say anything else. It's always interesting to see how much they've programmed. Dun -dun. See, we're supposed to climb the ladder, but we're waiting. We're just chilling out, enjoying the scenery in the rain. I guess they're not going to say anything else. All right, let's go. So obviously it's a very pretty game. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? Would that change anything? It might give him some comfort. Well, at least that's something we can agree on. Hey, somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Well, maybe there's someone inside. Oh, they're, they're super annoying. All of their dialogue is just super annoying. Um, oh, there we go. So we get some money. It's always handy. Helps to have money. Um, it's not on the thing. Right. So this is Bioshock Infinite. Well, this is the prologue to Bioshock Infinite, essentially. Let's walk around and see what's over here. It does pay to uh, explore. We'll go ahead and take all that. And that silver, silver eagle, we'll get some more money. We can sprint, that's good. Bring us the girl and wipe it's away the dead. Booker DeWitt. This is your last chance. I guess you're expecting me. Of thy sins shall I wash thee. Good luck with that, pal. Because I've sinned a lot. I am a sinner. Um, let's see. Pick up that jar of pickles. 
take all that. Uh, the player character mandate is that anything that's not nailed down is, anyone is here? for me. Hello? It's for me! Let's have that as well. So the annoying thing about this music is that someone's bound to content ID it, but that's okay. Luckily, I'm not trying to make money. Ooh, let's use this cool old-timey telephone. Nope, nope, no one on the other line. That's right. Surely that's out of copyright by now, but... Nope, we're using the sink. Hello? Is anybody home? To thine own land shall I take thee. Right. Weird. Uh, okay. Let's take all this guy's money. This is Shit. not creepy at all. Yeah, so if you're easily disturbed by things, uh, uh, there's a warning for you. Let's search that barrel. Up and up and up we go. Let's use the bells. We demand that card. Right. Uh, oh dear. Yep, that's an awesome effect. No cutscenes here to take us out of it. Just stuff happening. What is happening? Looks like Sweeney Todd's chair. Right. Looks like they expect me to sit in their fancy chair. I feel like someone's gonna slit my throat. <sighs> yep, here we go. Make yourself ready, Pilgrim. The bindings are there as a safeguard. <laughs> No, no, God! Oh uh, my gun! Damn it! I had a gun, and now it's gone. Annoying. Ascension in the count of five. No, count of four. No, no, no. Three, two, one. Ascension. Ascension. What did you expect to happen, Booker? Seriously, what did you expect to happen? Fifteen thousand feet. Hallelujah. Huh? It's so pretty. So the original Bioshock takes place underwater in like an underwater city. This is in the sky. So Bioshock, the original one, is like quite dank and dark and leaky and this one's really bright and airy but still just as creepy father comstock our prophet following the age-old adage of show don't tell which is really important we know who we are because we saw our name and he says it uh and oh why would he send his savior unto us if we will not raise a finger for our own salvation and though we deserve not his mercy, he has led us to this new Eden. A last chance for redemption. Notes of the uh, national anthem going there, the American national anthem, obviously. 
because at a certain point this is definitely like a satire on the whole patriotic ideal. And the prophet shall lead the people to the new Eden, Father Comstock being the prophets. Right? So this is... This is the new Eden. If they'd warned us what we were going to do, probably we could have saved our gun, but we didn't. And that's, you know, part of the point. Certainly seems a little bit extreme to strap our hands down. But whatever. So now we're walking through some water. Anybody who's a uh, Christian out there will know that, you know, the cleansing water of stuff is very important. The prophet. The, sh the seed of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. Right. Quite impressive. This is the welcome center, apparently. Excuse me. Where am I? Heaven. I must keep such questions to myself, unless I want to get made. Yeah, so we're supposed to be, like, secret. Now we're, now we're stealing from uh, a church. Makes sense. Ooh, look at all that money. I like the money. Who's that? Someone special, I guess. Ooh, we got a voxophone. Love the prophet because he loves the sinner. Love the sinner. Because he is you. Without the sinner, what need is there for a redeemer? Without sin, what grace has forgiveness? Right. I find the exit out of this place. Yeah, it's super creepy in here. Let's go. Imagine how wrinkly your feet would be standing around in all this water. The lamb, the future of our city. Yep. So we're just gonna take all this money. Oop. Hat box. Fiddle case. Yep. Now the weird thing is here, none of this is the critical path, so we could potentially just not see any of this. Could just be in the game for no reason. What I'm trying to say is they go well out of their way to make this game complete. Right, now I'm just gonna figure out which way it was out. I think it's past this guy. Hello, creepy guy. Water going down the stairs, that's pretty cool. Not dangerous at all. It's not like we would slip and die. And every year on this day, we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Comstock. Yep. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks, and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down our enemies at wounded me, and not railed against the sodden beneath us... All right, listen to the circle. Yeah. Is it someone new? Someone from the sodden below? Newly come to Columbia to be watered clean before our... Our founders and our lord. I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Right. Will you be cleansed, brother? I, I guess I will. Let's this or turn around and get back on that rocket. Uh, might as well get it over with. Yep, might as well get it over with. Come and be cleansed. Yeah, you can't get past him. Hey, I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. <laughs> I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Yeah, that's messed up. That's, yeah, I just got drowned, I guess. Who's there? Who's there? 
Bring us the curb and wipe away the debt. What do you want? We have a deal to it. Open this door right now. I told you. I'm not gonna do it. Now go away. Mr. DeWitt! Mr. DeWitt! I don't have to open the door, I don't think. Or maybe I do. Um, can I do anything? I think this is like a dream sequence. Yeah. Alright, let's open it. Whoa, there's... Someone shooting me in the face with a firework. <laughs> The guy's holding a key, but actually, he's holding it like a gun. That's so weird. That idiot priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. Sword, key, and scroll. I need to find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. Locate the Statue of Columbia. A key of gold so that Eden might have industry that set her above all other nations. Right. To Father Jefferson, a scroll. So that Eden might have laws that set her above all other nations. Right. And so each year we recommit ourselves to our founders and our prophet, Father Comstock. And, and recommit, recommit to, to our, our prophet, prophet, Father oh, Comstock. Geez. Our prophet fills our lungs with water so they may better love the air. So he drowned me. What is Columbia if not another ark for another time? He who crossed the Delaware with flaming sword and wings of angels. Watch over me. And so they worship strength. the founding Carry fathers. A rebel against now, ignorance and tyranny. So that I may By the sword and, and the scroll. scroll. And, and the key. There's no chance, no Amen. luck. Only providence. And that you see its divine hand at work. You discern the transmundane. Your inspiration and imagination transcend mere science and open our eyes to the mystery. Father Franklin, hear my prayer. Right, so that guy's sort of Just talking about the, the game. Just right? don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right. Yeah. So got a girl to find. Yeah, we got to find that girl. Because that's our job. We got to find this girl. Whoa. That's pretty cool. So this building here is floating around. And we're waiting for it to land so that we can uh, continue on. No, uh, no safety issues, obviously, with, uh, things exploding or crashing into each other. It's got a waterfall and everything. Just <laughs> <laughs> some trash can. Good to see you. That guy doesn't mind me eating his stuff, that's fine. Perfect day for the celebration. Father Comstock must have foreseen and planned the justice for yeah, well, that's that's pretty intense right there. A transcript of the prophet's recent address to you, the Colombian people, on the holy forgiveness of our dear lady Comstock, our beloved mother of forgiveness. Ooh, we just robbed that kid there. That's okay. Like These guys are weird. To a Liberty Scout, there's no room for preference, only right. duty. Something stalls all right, I tell you. Says he's for faith, family, and fatherland. Who could be against all that? So everything that people say is just super, super awkward and weird. Never hire an artist, my dear fellow. They are a temperamental and unreliable lot to a man. Uh, all these things are cool. I told him that the park is ex <laughs> oh, excuse me. Father Comstock's gift of prophecy in the midst of the darkest storm. And great, uh, the great prophet foresees bright sunshine, and lo, it appears. What will the great prophet reveal next? Our prophet, Father Comstock. Fin, that means finish. Hold on. The, the, the landscaping is half finished. The, the statuary hasn't arrived. The fountain is full of rainwater, for God's sake. Even the marigolds are still unplanted. Let's turn off the radio. Uh-huh. Do you know what he told me? Right. Let's go on. 
So there's lots of things to listen to and learn about. The docking schedule. That's uh, the different buildings docked together. Fox Popular this, Fox Popular that. Now what does Fox Popular even mean, for heaven's sake? Voice of the people. Uh, it's Latin. It means... Latin. <laughs> Making fun of Latin? That's rude. That's super rude. So she just, like, dismissed him. Columbia Creamery. So as you can see, the streets are, like, quite alive. It feels like a real city. Uh, some sort of robot thing. Oh, here comes the parade. Yeah, I'm waiting, dude. Here we go. All clear. Good luck at the raffle. The raffle, huh? Columbia Raffle and Fair. Huh. I wonder what that's all about. He's strong in the sword. You are on your honor. Put money in basket. Throughout the afternoon. In short, a beautiful day for the festivities, Columbia. And now, back to music. We'll just go ahead and steal everything. Turn the radio off. Yep. So they've got an honor system, uh, which I am not obeying. Here you go. Uh, part of the game is the, the illusion of choice. Like, you can choose to do things or you can choose not to do them, but, like, at the end of it, end of the day, it doesn't actually Would you matter. Care for a We're raising money for the girls' patriotic league. Uh, <laughs> maybe next time. You'd look dashing with one in your lapel. I would, Come actually. Back if you change your mind. I can hear a barbershop quartet. Ooh, shinies. One man goes into the waters of baptism. A different man comes out, born again. But who is that man who lies submerged? Perhaps that swimmer is both sinner and saint until he is revealed onto the eyes of man. The false shepherd, huh? Who's the false shepherd? Columbia's gayest quartet, today only. The music of tomorrow, today. Take all this stuff. I am that kind of talk, friend. That kind of talk draws attention. Oh, don't turn into some faint and radical on me, John. I do not want to be some character out of I Married a Vox Popular, now do I? Right, yeah. Some children, bells ringing. Yeah, um, uh, so as you can see, like, the iconography in this is, I mean, Obviously, the whole game is just full of symbols, so if you were, like, studying this game, which would be pretty cool, the game is... Yeah, that's where they said I'd find her. Insanely Telegram, symbolic. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt! Huh. Telegram for you, sir. Who's sending me a telegram? DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence, stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. Right. Do not pick number Tax. 77. What the... Let's use a telescope. Cool. Yep. 
I mean, it's just nifty little stuff like that that's interactable, which makes the game like My pretty good awesome. day to you, sir. Hello. Right. Um. Lots of flags. Keep saying that. Should we go in? If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into Devil's the Kiss. Air, ah, these are like the uh, well, things. Marlowe's patent of vigors. That's what they're called. Vigors. No Murder of crows. Proven to turn no against hooligans. Tales told behind the pool hall. No sir, no man. Those are vigors I'm talking about. Right. Brought I think we're going to keep continue up though. Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself. Who amongst you has tasted Creepy. the divine gift of the vicar? One swig and feats of wonderment are at the tips of your fingers. You know our prophet is fair. You know our prophet is kind. And he has asked, personally asked Mr. Jeremiah Fink to bring to you these amazing wonders. Yep. Praise be So you can shoot fireballs, you can shoot lightning. That's later on, though. Young sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Whether you need to get locked and tossed and tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. Find the devil, good sir, and cast Protect the woman out. and the child. Hit the devil three times. Okay. We can do that. Let's hit the devil three times. Yeah, I got him. Nice. Got him two times. Woo! He's on a roll. This is a pretty cool way to uh, tutorialize this. And remember, if you need it lifted, lost it, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is your answer. Right. So that's a tutorial on how to use Vigors. Then you Yep, here we go. Oh, we can't afford it. Yeah, let's use an air rifle. Ten points to win. Five points to win. Twenty points to win. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I might be too too sensitive here. Dang it. Second place. Uh, can we do it again? I don't know. Can we do it again? Let's try it again. Let's try one more time. Now, shoot the box when they appear. Get it up and you'll win a prize. I'll even throw in a bonus if you bag the anarchist Daisy Fitzroy. Yep, I want the bonus. Well done, sir. All those boxes are winning in their boots. You're almost there. Another shot right on the way. Ah, the anarchist Fitzroy. Quickly now. I got her. Yes. Oh, I missed two of them. Though. Yes, I got 20. Woo! What was my bonus for uh, killing Daisy? Calling all skilled oh, nothing. Oh, there's one. Shoot him. All right. Whoa, that is super creepy. He's the amazing handyman. That guy does not look happy with his situation. He looks kind of depressed to be out in the sunlight, and everyone's just laughing at him. Creepy. Have you ever seen anything like it? so sad. Sad? When you're that strong, what's there to be sad about? Yeah, he looks sad. See? They're saying he looks sad, too. Has a pay telephone ever refused to come to the beloved spouse? Yeah, here we go. A free sample of possession. They're all ears. Whoa. Mm. Mm. <laughs>
delicious. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs. Oh, here we are. Press to turn machines into allies. Yeah, I can take over machines. Nice. Right. To make a friendly machine. Oh, was that? Oh, we've already seen that. Yep. Okay, our assaults are full. Alright, where are we going? We're going this way. Sorry, pal. The raffle is all sold out. Aww. Entrance is reserved for dignitaries and very important personages alone. Well, that's annoying. That don't mean me. Okay, so we got to find a different way around. Let's head up this way. Oh, we can try using possession on the ticket taker. Well, if it isn't Assemblyman Buford, your spot at the raffle awaits. Don't know why I didn't recognize you before. Heads. Or tails. Come on, let me through. Heads. Or tails. So this is a reference to Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead, an absurdist comedy uh, where he flips the coin over and over and over and it keeps coming up heads um, because... They're in a play, and it ne always comes out the same, and there's no actual chance. It's just, it's written by someone. So, in case you're wondering what this is all about, that's what it's all about. Tails. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. So those are the same people that dropped us off, and you can see on the back of this thing that, uh, it's come up heads, like, nearly every time. So now we're going into this raffle. Find out what happens in the raffle. Right, let's have a look at this vending machine. Health kits. Nah, we're good. Can we possess it? We could buy some salts. We're out of salts. Find more. I saw some money up here. Let's have that money. Thank you. I hear the Father Franklin machines will be taking in new stock soon. Right? The Father Franklin machines back in five minutes. Oh, that's weird. That's the vigor. This little thing just flew around my hand. Super weird. Why did you get that? This little beauty? Ah, the whole division got them. If we're gonna flush the Vox out of the Skyline system. Uh, we gotta have the best. Uh -huh. We're gonna get one of those soon. It's gonna be awesome! <laughs> yep. Everything is normal. Everything is going according to plan. Let's play this audio log. Madame Lutess, I have read all your books on the sciences. Mama says it's not a fit occupation for a lady. But I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you were allowed to visit the girl in the tower? What if the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest regards, Constance. So we are the false shepherd, in case you missed that. We just looked at our hand, and we are the false shepherd. So that's bad. So we need to keep that a secret. We need to keep that a secret. Um, this this game is a shooter, by the way. Um, despite the fact that we haven't actually done really any shooting yet. Here we go. What's over here? Some more police telling us we can't go that way. So at the moment, we're still friends with everything. It's all bright and sunny and happy. I'm sure it will stay like that forever. Taking people's wishes, that's always nice. Yep, we're nice and healthy. So this is the raffle, I think. And now, the 1912 raffle has officially begun! Hey, mister! Mister! Sorry, no sale. <laughs> Silly, there's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? 77. 77. That's a lucky number. I'll be no, rooting I'm for I'm not you. supposed to pick 77. Bring me the bowl! I don't want to pick 77. Is that 77. not the prettiest 
young white girl in all of Colombia? <laughs> all right, then. The winner is number 77. No, I didn't want to do that. Number 77, come and claim your prize. First throw. First throw. So that's racist. Please, what are you in case doing? you're wondering. Come on. Are you gonna throw it? Or are you taking your coffee black these days? <laughs> so the town is super racist. Oh, looks like we've got a shower uh -uh. here. <laughs> we've got to do something about wait! It's him! Now. Where'd you get that brand, boy? Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, false shepherd? And we ain't letting no false shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys! Uh, mine. Gun in here. Yep, everyone ran away because I just killed like five police officers, which is not cool. And I'm pretty sure I don't even I save those people. You yeah, you do. I'm the false shepherd. This way. Cover the gate. Oh, they're sailing ah. away. Stop it! Now we've got a gun, and that's always good. It's always time to search for uh, pineapples, though. I told you, Comstock. You sell them paradise, and the customers expect cherubs for every chore. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's buy that. Adds ability to possess humans who suicide when the effect expi expires. Nice. Uh, uh, no. Oh. Possession now turns machine and man into allies. Nice. That's good. Hold and release to create a ghostly trap. Right. Menials in God's kingdom. <laughs> well, I have a man in Georgia who leases us as many Negro convicts as you can board. Mm. Why, you can say they're simple souls in penance for rising above their station. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> eases your conscience, I suppose. Wow, that is brutal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this game got really dark really fast but I guess that's the point let's set off all the fireworks cuz I'm here guy's doing all my work for me. I like it. I think that... I don't know if he suicides as well. Right, we got some more salt. We got some more ammo. Oops. Uh, that was a mistake. What the? When your life is saved, you'll be partially healed, but so will your enemies. You also... Right, let's open the door. We also lose some money. What just happened? Right, we need to figure out where we're going. That way. There we go. Fight your way to Monument Island. Come 
We're gonna die again, aren't we? That's what happens when you play it on hard. Alright, well we'll just leave him there then. Don't pick all this stuff up. You're gonna get me. Oh, what's in here? Let's go in here. Some money, some health. That's always good. Yes, get that melee on. Health kit, nice. Some salts. We'll have that. And health kit. Oh, our health is full. Open the gate. It's getting Open hot. it. What's going on? Okay, well that's not good. Boss fight time. Is he still trying to fight me? No, we can just leave him. I know. Oh. Right. Drop their weapons when they're killed. Fire bigger. Yes. What's up? Well, you only live once. Yes. Now we're gonna set some people on fire. Ooh. Yeah, that's super gross. Whew. Right. Oh, Devil's Kiss. Press to throw a fiery grenade. Hold and release to create an explosive trap. Ha. <coughs> okay. That so wasn't I... no sample. There we go, even though we nearly died. We weren't paying attention. Ah, uh, we died again. Ugh. Oh, God, I suck. I am playing on hard, though, so... We're gonna take some of my money, and I'll restart somewhere back here. Yep, here we go. Yep, we've already fought that guy, which is good. Just come through here. Yeah, oh, there we go. We can switch between our vigors. Blue Ribbon Pig. This is the way we want to go. Let's go. Let's do it. They had my scent. If I didn't get to the girl's soon, this whole job was scotched. Which I assume means that it gets drunk. Right. Okay. Well. While we're in a quiet spot. I'm going to go ahead and pause it. I'm going to leave it there because that's a good checkpoint. And, uh, oh, I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, watching some Bioshock Infinite. I might come back and play some more for you. Um, you know, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed watching that or if you want to watch me play some more. Uh, yeah. Anyways, um, class dismissed.